Welcome back to our conversation with eight with eighth district Congressman Stephen Lynch. I'm sorry, Congressman, I'm a little tired as we're taping here after a late night with the mayoral debate. I know you told me you didn't get a chance to see it, but knowing you, I know you've been following that race. Uh, are, first of all, are you going to endorse in that race? I will not. You know, I think, first of all, you know, endorsements are sort of presumptuous things, but uh, both of the candidates, both of the women who are running uh, are longtime candidates and, and longtime elected officials. They've got their own records to run on. And uh, I, I think that record of accomplishment speaks for itself. So uh, I'm going to sit this one out and let, let the, uh, the voters make this decision on their own. But you'll be voting, right? Who are you voting oh, for? Yeah, uh, that remains a secret, John. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to answer that, but I thought I'd try. All right. Uh, the, the House investigation of January 6th. What, if anything, do you expect is going to come of that? Because it's a stonewall festival so far. Well, I, I think the, the special uh, committee that's been set up to do that with Benny Thompson from Mississippi uh, has been successful in getting documents. Uh, uh, but right now, I, I think it's too early to tell where, where that investigation goes. Uh, we have a plethora of, uh, of footage uh, from that day that... that whole area is a heavily surveilled area for obvious reasons. So, uh, you know, a number of those individuals are being held accountable for their actions on that day. I did want to ask you about the Capitol Police. We talked about this a couple of times since that day back in January. Do you have a clearer sense of how the Capitol Police behaved and what the issues are there? Well, we did have uh, several, several of the officers uh, were confronted with their actions on that day. They were taped. Uh, they showed that they were very permissive in allowing people to enter the Capitol. Uh, several of them have, have resigned already, and I believe there are actions pending against several others. Wow. That's wow. where we stand on that right now. So I, I, I was there. I was there. I watched my Republican colleagues run for their lives. They ran for their lives. And then when we had hearings on January 6th, they testified that it was nothing more than a tourist visit. And they refused to hold those people accountable who attacked the Capitol. So, uh, you know, that's a stain on them that will not wash off. That, that, that is a, a quizzling like uh, betrayal of their government and, and of everything that uh, people in this country fought for for years. That moment, and there were some courageous Republicans who stood up, and Liz Cheney, uh, Mr. Kissinger, uh, who stood up in spite of that. And uh, I admire their courage as well, uh, but this is the, the world we live in now. So that, that ruptured my faith in, in many of my Republican colleagues. It was tantamount to treason. And, and uh, that's an unforgivable breach. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is.